Folk Tales of India. Tales from Tripura. Kerenbar, a flower of heaven. A long time ago in Tripura, there lived a man named Dananjoy. In the month of Bashik, Dananjoy was very happy he would celebrate the Gara Puja with his old friends and started for his village early in the morning with his newly wed wife, Sumatra. The entire path to the village passed through lush forests. Both of them were walking fast so that they could cross the forest before sundown when suddenly they smelt the sweet smell of an unknown flower. What a sweet smell! Which flower is this? It is the Kerenba Booba. I have never heard of this flower before, and I have never smelt such a sweet smell in my entire life. I need to have it. Will you please bring me those flowers so I can put them in my hair? You cannot decorate your hair with this flower, my love. It is the flower of heaven. It only blooms for God and is harmful to us human beings. If you insert the flower in your hair, I, the person who plucks the flower, will turn into a gibbon and you into a pangolin. Sumatra became very curious and asked Dan and Joy a lot of questions about the flower. Upon hearing the stories, she went silent and kept on looking at the flowers for a long time. Please don't feel sad, my love. If you want, I shall pluck the Kerenbar flowers for you. But please do not insert them in your hair, otherwise I shall turn into a gibbon. You can take the flowers with you. Consult the diary in the village and thereon use them as per his advice. Dan and Joy then climbed on the tree, plucked some flowers of the Kerenba and gave them to Sumatra. Sumatra was very happy. Seeing the beautiful flowers, she could not resist the temptation and immediately inserted one of the flowers into her hair. As soon as she did so, the hands of Dan and Joy got clamped to the tree. Sumatra realized her mistake and immediately took out the flower from her hair and threw it. She looked upon the tree and found that Dan and Joy was really changing. She got frightened. Soon, she found that Dan and Joy had completely turned into a gibbon. She cried, apologized and asked, Please tell me how you can turn back into a human being. I shall never turn back into a human shape. I have to now live in the jungle. You must start walking fast so that you can reach the village before dusk. On seeing her love completely transformed, Sumatra burst into tears and as soon as she started walking, she turned into a pangolin as per the fable. Seeing the pitiful condition of the couple, God decided to take away the sweet smell of the Kerenbar flower and that's why nowadays the beautiful flowers of Kerenbar have no scent. As they say, there is no greater calamity than being consumed by temptation and greed.